Hello everyone and welcome back. So what we're looking right now is the basic HTML structure. So we already have seen the head tag. We haven't uh, discussed that yet in detail. We also have the body tag. And uh, uh, the new thing here are the title tag. Uh, the title tag goes right over here at the top of the website. Okay. So the text that we type over here in between the title tag is being displayed here. Uh, in here, in Pixabay, it displays the icon and then laptop, notebook, cell phone, and uh, PlayStation here, and then PC Game Pass over here for Xbox. Okay, so for H1, we are we already know that. And P is, uh, is the tag that we use if we wanted to display or render a paragraph on our page. And right now, when it comes to the structure, the head and the body tag are actually siblings in relation to their parent, the HTML tag. So therefore, the title tag is a child of the head tag, as well as the H1 and the P tag are children of the body tag. So that is how we describe the structure of an HTML document. And also not only describing the structure the the term parent and then child actually part of the syntax not only in html but in css and javascript as well all right so why is it that we have to follow this structure the primary purpose of following this structure when we code or when we create our project uh, when it comes to web development is to ensure that our project will display properly or our application will display properly on different devices, whether if it is a desktop, a laptop, a smartphone, tablet, uh, etc. And also to ensure that it will display on different types of browsers, not only in Chrome, but we want to make sure that it will also display in Safari, Opera GX, uh, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to VS Code and let's create this basic structure. So we're going to be creating a new project. So this one right here, we can go ahead and close this folder now. Okay, we are done with that first uh, project. Uh, then we can go ahead and click file again and then open folder. Then we navigate to desktop. In my case, I created the projects inside this folder, uh, which is a long file name, HTML, CSS, GS projects. So if you have followed along and copy what I did, uh, it should be on the same location. If not, you can just go ahead and place this folder on the location that you want in your computer. So what we're going to do is create a folder. So that's how we start the project. And we're going to name this HTML underscore structure. After creating the folder, we click on that and then select folder. And we're going to be creating now our first file, index.html. And based on this structure over here, we can go ahead and place this at this side, okay, as a guide. Then we can now type HTML. I'll press tab on the keyboard and it will auto complete. The next one is the head tag. So head and then tab. Inside the head, we have the title tag over there. So title and then tab on the keyboard to auto complete. And, and now feel free to type anything here that you wanted to be uh, the title of your project. I will just type here HTML basic or HTML basic structure. Okay, let me just adjust my window sizing here. And the next one is the body. And we have an H1 here. So it says title of story. And then we have a P tag over here for the paragraph. So this is your paragraph. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and right click and then open with live server. And there you have it. And as you can see over here, the one in the body is the one that will display or the one that is available for the user, except for the title, because you know, in the head tag, there are other information that we're going to learn later on uh, that is part of the head and are also very important but they don't display it on the website, but they play a key role when it comes to ensuring that the website will work properly. So anyway, I wanted to show you this text over here. If I'm going to maximize this, 
notice that the title HTML basic structure. So that's how you can place a title for your project uh, on your web page. Later on, we're going to be learning how to place an icon over here. All right, so now that you already understand the basic structure of HTML, I'm going to introduce to you the Emmet. Uh, let me just type it over here, Emmet. So Emmet is actually a software. It's a plugin for a code editor. It used to be an extension that the developer has to download and install, just like what we did with Live Server. But right now in VS Code, Emmet is already part of it. So, so what is an Emmet? So just like the live server, Emmet will give us an, an additional functionality or increase our productivity as a developer. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, delete everything here and save. So we now have a blank project. And right now, I'm going to demonstrate to you how Emmet works, at least the basic. Okay, so I'm going to type the exclamation point by pressing shift key and then the number one. And after that, I'm going to press the tab key on the keyboard. And look at that, works like magic, right? So we have everything that we need. This is, this is the HTML starting template. Okay, so we have everything. So we don't need to memorize the head tag or manually type the title tag, the head and the body. So we have everything. So let's go through this one line at a time. So we already know that the body tag is everything that we see on the website and the head tag we are familiar about the title tag and this one right over here a meta tag and it has an attribute car set with a value of utf8 this code will give you an additional information if you are going to hover over here as you can see this attribute declares the page character encoding so this is just to ensure that the letters, uppercase or lowercase, the numbers, the symbols uh, will display properly on your web page on any browser, on any devices. And the second one is also to ensure that your website will display properly. This is specifically for mobile devices, for smartphone and tablets. Okay, how about this one? The HTML tag, we know that it is a requirement as well, but we have an attribute here called lang. It, it is actually stands for language and EN is for English. And this one right here at the top, we don't have to worry about that so much. It is only to tell the browser that we are using HTML5, not HTML4 or the lower versions. HTML5 has become the standard for the web for quite some time uh, since it was released, I believe, in, back in 2014. And uh, at this point, we are still using HTML5 and I believe it's going to stay there for quite some time. Okay, so there you have it. This is the HTML starting template. Uh, we already have an idea about the Emmet and later on we're going to be learning some techniques on how we can be more productive when it comes to creating websites and we have covered as well the diagram of the HTML basic structure. So of course if we are going to save this now and right click here and open with live server, we're not seeing anything because we don't have anything on the body. So feel free to experiment right now what you have learned so far. You have uh, you already have learned how to place an image on the page, how to put an HR or the line, horizontal line on the page, uh, some H1 and the paragraph as well. I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.